Hey guys, welcome back to Elevated and Meaningful. I'm Sarv. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, racism in the light of the teachings of Baha'u'llah. Uh, so my friend, uh, he asked me to make a video about this, especially since uh, we have seen that in the United States, we could look at Ferguson, how uh, there has been some rioting and even some other parts of the United States, and how these are all results of uh, not really uprooting uh, the uh, the really deep uh, hatred that a lot of us in the in the United States still uh, possess uh, ever since the uh, time of slavery that happened in the past. We haven't uh, eradicated racism. Uh, such that there is no uh, a difference between colored versus white or whatever. Looking at some of the things that uh, a man by the name of Dr. Nader Saidi, who is a sociologist from the University of Wisconsin, he himself is a Baha'i too, he sheds a really interesting light about this topic. He says that um, racism is a spiritual disease ultimately is a problem in terms of mode of consciousness is a reductionist viewpoint in which reduce the rights values social position opportunities of a person to the color of skin he concluded that these were not real imagined phenomena and I think it means like uh, racial difference is just uh, an illusion it's uh, it doesn't mean that a person who is a uh, colored black wh uh, versus white or yellow or red or whatever there is no difference between them yeah they, they, outwardly they look physically different but inwardly uh, they're all human beings and that everybody should have the same uh, respect and love and devotion. Uh, in another uh, place he said that the assumption is that the biology, the material aspect of our life, is determinant, defining features of our identity, of our reality, of our values. And now uh, look again what Abdul Baha, the son of Baha'u'llah, uh, said when he was in London, it says here a colored man from the South Af from South Africa, who was visiting Abdul Baha, said that even now no white people really cared very much for the black man, and then this is what Abdul Baha said. Compare the present time and the feeling towards the colored people now, with the state of feeling two or three hundred years ago and see how much better it is at present. In a short time, the relationship between the colored and white people will still further improve. And by and by, no difference will be felt between them. White doves and purple doves exist, but both kinds are the doves. Baha'u'llah once compared the colored people to the black pupil of the eye surrounded by the white. In this black pupil, you see the reflection of that which is before it, and through it the light of the spirit shines forth. In the sight of God, color makes no difference at all. He, with a capital H, which is God, he looks at the hearts of men. And men is a generic term for women too, or everyone. He looks at the hearts of men. That which God desires from men is the heart. A black man with a good character is far superior to a white man with a character that is less good. So you can see the Baha'i faith has um, done a really great job in uh, helping us see that colored doesn't make sense. Being difference, having differences due to color of skin. 
that we should all have equal rights, we should all love each other and respect each other. Every single human being on the planet believes in uh, believes in God. Yeah, there are atheism too, but I'm saying like majority, we all believe in God. We all desire for the same thing. We all desire for the common good. We all serve each other. Everybody likes music. Everybody shops, everybody works, everybody has children, everybody has a tongue, everybody has a mouth, everybody has a you know, rational mind to speak, to understand. No matter what color skin you have, you are capable and you have the capacity to help the world become a better place. And that concludes our video. Thank you so much for joining. I am Sarf. Uh, welcome to Elevated and Meaningful and I hope you will join me for next time. Please comment, subscribe, whatever you like. Hopefully you can share this video with everyone, especially uh, because of the conditions of the United States today. And I think this video can really help everyone understand how to look at everyone else with the eyes of love. Thank you.